We've always been fascinated with the depths of the ocean and the endless mysteries that it offers. One of the most relevant man-made structures that lie deep in the ocean is the Titanic. Unfortunately, not all underwater missions end up in a successful exploration, and that was the case with the Titan submersible. Join us as we uncover the tragic events that led to its implosion. The Titan submersible was seen as an engineering marvel, one that was built to withstand extreme pressures at the ocean's depths. At least that's what their owners thought. The mission was to explore the famous Titanic wreckage at depths of 12,500 feet. All precautions had seemingly been taken. With that said, there are several factors that took place and ended up in the ill-fated journey. It is important to note that the water pressure at those levels of depth can reach over 10,000 tons. Just to put that into perspective, you need about 140 adult elephants to reach 1,000 tons. The pressure that the Titan had to endure was 10 times heavier. Now let us delve into the reasons for why this exploration went wrong. And was there any chances that this could have been prevented? Reason number one, extreme water pressure. The immense water pressure at the depths of the Mariana Trench is an incredible challenge. With pressure that goes beyond anything we experience on the surface, even the most advanced technology can be pushed to its limits. The design of the Titan submersible incorporated advanced materials and engineering techniques to withstand extreme pressure. However, during its descent, a structural flaw in the vehicle's outer shell was exposed. This flaw weakened the integrity of the vehicle, leaving it vulnerable to the tremendous forces at play. As the Titan submersible descended deeper into the trench, the pressure on its compromised structure became unbearable. The biggest issue with this is that according to Blair Thornton, a marina autonomy professor, it only takes a microscopic crack in the outer shell of a vessel to cause an implosion. This means that the room for human error is larger when making sure this type of submarine vehicle is safe and ready to handle such pressures. Reason number two, hydraulic system malfunction. The second critical factor was a malfunction in the submersible's hydraulic system. The hydraulic system is vital for maintaining the vehicle's stability and maneuverability underwater. Unfortunately, a valve failure resulted in an uncontrolled surge of hydraulic fluid, causing the submersible to lose balance. With the compromised structure and loss of stability, the Titan submersible was unable to withstand the relentless pressure. It reached a breaking point where the forces exerted upon it surpassed its design limits. This, combined with the possibility of any type of microfracture, led to the implosion. Reason number three, possible safety regulation issues. According to the latest news on this case, the Titan had not yet been registered by either U.S. or international agencies in terms of safety. There was no classification for the vessel by any maritime group to verify that the construction of the vessel was optimal for this exploration. Ultimately, the combination of the structural flaw and the hydraulic system malfunction led to the catastrophic implosion of the Titan submersible, resulting in the loss of the vehicle and its crew. The tragic event serves as a reminder of the incredible challenges that deep-sea exploration presents. It highlights the importance of thorough engineering and rigorous testing to ensure the safety of such ventures. What happens during an implosion in those conditions? It can be difficult to imagine what the passengers of the Titan experienced during this implosion, but this implosion is an extremely fast event. Basically, the entire structure of the submersible explodes inwards, which is why it is called an implosion. This means that the passengers didn't even have time to react to the situation as it happened in a fraction of a second. Lessons learned. Since the incident, the scientific community has used the lessons learned to enhance the design and safety protocols for future submersibles. We continue to push the boundaries of exploration while prioritizing the safety of our brave scientists and engineers. The story of the Titan submersible serves as a strong reminder that despite our best efforts, nature's strength can be overwhelming and unforgiving. It is through setbacks like this that we gain knowledge and resilience, inspiring us to further explore the wonders of our vast oceans. Before we conclude this video, it is worth mentioning that five people died in this incident. Stockton Rush, CEO of OceanGate, owner of Action Aviation, Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shahzada Dawood, his son Suleiman Dawood, and French explorer Paul-Henri Narjolet. 
The implosion took place on Sunday, June 18, 2023. We hope you liked this video and that you learned something new. Thanks for now and welcome back for further mysteries like the this, in and out, covered.